Good morning, and welcome to the second part of the Boston Public Facilities Commission meeting. I'm going to turn it over to Rob. Good morning, Commissioners. This meeting is being recorded and broadcast live. Before we get started, I will ask Colleen Daly, the PFC Secretary, to take a roll call of the meeting participants. Thank you, Rob. Participants, please unmute your device and confirm your presence. When I call your name, beginning roll call with the Commission. Catherine Craven, Chair. Present. Larry Mamoli, Commissioner. Present. Robert Archangeli, Assistant Corp Counsel. Present. Catherine Pendleton, Article Clerk. Sorry, it's our, <laughs> thank you. Next with the Mayor's Office of Housing, Rosemary Chung, Acting Deputy Director, Real Estate Management mm -hmm. Sales Division. Present. Tara Sedgeville, Development Officer, Neighborhood Housing Development Division. Present. Min Nugent, Project Manager, Real Estate Management and Sales Division. Present. I'll read for the record the remainder of the individuals who are in attendance but will not need to, oh, I'm sorry, who are in attendance but will not be presenting in today's meeting. Attendees do not need to unmute your device when I call your name. James Smith, Senior Environmental Compliance Manager of REMS. Antonio Leish, Senior Development Officer, NHD. Sarah Plout, Special Assistant to the Director. James McDonough, Senior Staff Attorney, MOH. Lauren Forbes, Assistant Corp. Corp Counsel. And this concludes roll call. Thank you. Thank you, Colleen. Beginning this morning, we have Rosemary Chung Bell, Acting Deputy Director, Real Estate Management Sales with the Mayor's Office of Housing. MOH has two votes on the agenda for today. Vote number one is being presented by Tierra Satchbell, Development Officer with the Neighborhood Housing Development Division of MOH. Vote one is a request for amendment to the tentative developer designation vote of October 18th, 2023 to extend the tentative designation and intent to sell period from 12 months to 24 months to New Urban Collaborative LLC and Lower Roxbury Community Corporation for a vacant lot located at 40 to 50 Warren Street in Roxbury. Sierra, if you would please present vote one. Uh, thank you. Uh, good morning, commissioners. I'm here requesting PLC approval for the 12 month extension of the tentative developer designation of the joint venture of New Urban Collaborative and Lower Roxbury Community Corporation, a subsidiary of Madison Park Development Corporation for one parcel of land located at 4050 Warren Street in the neighborhood of Roxbury. This project is a result of a thorough and in-depth public process taking place over many years in partnership with the Roxbury community. Beginning in 2016, over a dozen public engagements took place to gather input from residents and, and to develop a shared set of objectives for future development of city-owned parcels in Nubian Square. The parcel is currently used for surface parking to service Nubian Square businesses. The RFP was developed through this process and built around community priorities. Leading up to the RFP, MOH worked in partnership with uh, the then Boston Planning and Development Agency and the Roxbury Strategic Master Plan Oversight Committee to steward a thorough and fruitful community process. These priorities included several new residents for evaluation criteria in the City of Boston RFP, drawing on the input of residents, including diversity and inclusion development team, strategies for development without displacement, and consideration of the permanent jobs created relative to a good job strategy. Other priorities in the RFP include housing, affordability, transportation, open space, climate resiliency, and green building. The RFP was advertised pursuant to provisions um, in Chapter 30B, Section 16, and was available to the public on July 16, 2018. The advertisement appeared in the Boston Herald on July 16, 2018, and July 23, 2018, as well in the Central Register on July 18, 2018. The proposal submission deadline was November 13, 2018, and two proposals were received. After proposals were received, all eligible developers for the uh, city-owned parcels presented their proposals to the community. New Urban Collaborative was selected as the tentative developer designation for the site and remains the majority owner of the development entity presented today. LRCC was, has joined the team to offer additional capacity in moving the project forward. The addition of LRCC as a supporting entity will support the community recommended chosen developer, a Boston-based minority-owned developer of affordable housing by adding an experienced developer with deep neighborhood knowledge and a track record of delivering successful projects. 
POC approved the tentative development designation of the joint venture of New Urban Collaborative and Little Roxbury Community Corporation on October 18, 2023, for a 12-month period. The vote package includes a comprehensive memo about the project and the POC vote request. I have provided some slides related to the vote request, which are displayed on the screen. The first shows a locust map of the parcel. The second slide shows the existing condition of the site. And the final slide shows renderings of the proposed building. New Urban Collaborative LLC and Lower Ross Bay Community Corporation proposes to develop a new mixed use, mixed income building on the site. The development proposal includes 28 affordable home ownership units split between 80% and 100% area medium income, and the unit mix ranges from studios to one bedroom units. The development also proposes to include uh, office slash co-working space and ground floor retail space. In summary, if POC approves the boat request, New Urban Collaborative and Lower Ross Bay Community Corporation will complete various tasks such as finalized development plan and advanced designs, work on getting through the notice of project change article 80 process, zoning board of appeals and other permitting processes, finalize cost and budget, and finalize financing commitments. Thank you, and I'm here to answer any questions you may have. Thank you so much. Any questions, Commissioner Malloy? Uh, no questions. Uh, motion to approve. Second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Vote number one is approved. Moving on, vote two is being presented by Min Nguyen, Project Manager, Real Estate Management and Sales Division of MOH. Vote two is a request for tentative developer designation and intent to sell to Robert Moore and Shirley J. Moore for vacant land located at an unnumbered parcel on Royden Street, Mattapan. The purchase price is recommended at $34,000. Min, if you would please present vote two. Hello, my name is Min Nguyen. I'm a project manager in the real estate management and sales division of the Mayor's Office of Housing. I am here requesting the PFC approval for the tentative developer designation to Mr. Robert Moore and Mrs. J. Uh, Shirley J. Moore for the parcel identified in the vote package in the Mattapan neighborhood of Boston. Mayor's Office of Housing conducted a public process that resulted in the developer designation and this tentative designation request, vote request. Community notification letters were mailed in June 3rd, 2024 to inform of Mayor's Office of Housing's intent to issue an RFP for the parcel. A request for proposal was issued on June 17th, 2024 and advertised in the State Central Register on June 19th, 2024. The Boston Herald on June 17th and the 24th of 2024 and the city record on June 17th and the 24th of 2024. One proposal was received in response to the RFP by July 22nd, 2024, and was determined to meet the eligibility required criteria off prices for the appraised value. The vote package includes a comprehensive memo about the project and PFC vote requests. I've also had, uh, provided handouts related to the vote requests, which are displayed on the screen. The first being a site map. Margaret, Mr. Robert Moore and Mrs. Shirley J. Moore will utilize the site in its current condition, and they will maintain and keep up with the landscape of the parcel. Aerial map. In summary, if PFC approves the vote request, it will result in the following public benefits. It will return a vacant property in the mayor's office of inventory for 90 years of back to productive use and back on tax rolls. Uh, this sale will also generate the $34,000 in initial uh, revenues from the sale. I'm here to answer any questions you may have. Thank you. Thank you. Any questions, Commissioner Uh 90 years, I think that's a record for uh... It could be actually. Government. My great my great grandmother's house was right on that corner, Cummins Highway and Canada Street, so I know exactly where this is. Uh, we anticipate final designation conveyance probably within a year. Yes. Yeah. All right. No. Uh, <laughs> after ninety years, it's good to get rid of this property. Uh, motion to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. Thank you. The ayes have it. Vote number two is approved. <laughs> This concludes the agenda for MOH for today's meeting. Is there a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Second and all in favor of the motion to adjourn? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. Thanks, good everyone. Day.